Holy cow, I was not expecting to actually find something still living there. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here, and today I'm going on a rescue mission. Okay guys, so in my last hidden pond video, I came across this tiny puddle that was drying up and there appeared to be quite a few fish living in this thing. So in today's video, I'm gonna head to that puddle, hopefully it's still there, and attempt to relocate most of those fish to a nearby pond. Okay guys, so I finally made it to this puddle and it is not looking good. Check this out. So, there used to be a bunch of water right down here and it's pretty much completely gone. What in the world? I think these are tadpoles. There's like a thousand tadpoles right here. Okay, I'm gonna go get a bucket and try to save these guys. Holy cow, I was not expecting to actually find something still living there. Oh, this smells pretty gross. Oh, you guys, I think there are some baby catfish in here too. I don't know if they're alive, but I'm seeing some dead baby catfish. There's gotta be close to 20, 25 pounds of tadpoles here. I'm seeing a lot of baby catfish, but I think they're all dead, unfortunately. All right, see you later, guys. Good luck. They look pretty happy to be out of that mud hole. A lot of fatalities, but uh, those ones look pretty happy. You guys, I thought for sure that puddle would still be here, but unfortunately it was not. I'm glad I was able to relocate those tadpoles. They're in a much better place now, so. I think what I'm gonna do now is head to some of these hidden ponds that are really close by, do some fishing out of there, and hopefully turn this video around. So I stopped off at this first pond that I released the tadpoles into. I was seeing some activity at the surface. I think they might be gar, so I have my gar rig out there. I'm gonna see if I can't catch a gar or possibly a catfish. Okay guys, I've been fishing in this pond for almost an hour, maybe a little bit longer. Not having much luck, so I'm gonna switch up spots, try to find another hidden pond back here, and hopefully catch some fish, because I had pretty high hopes for this spot, and it's really not panning out, so I'm gonna change up spots. After walking through the woods for a little bit, I actually came across the same pond that I've already fished in. So I'm gonna fish here again. I do have my float. So I think I might try to catch a catfish or a gar out of here. And I'm also gonna do some ultralight fishing for bass. So let's see what I can catch. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Yes, 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 please stay on. What is this? Holy cow, you guys, check this out. Wow. I think this is my new personal best crappie. Holy cow. See you later, buddy. <laughs> you guys, I am pumped. I finally caught a fish, holy cow. It is already 6.10. It's gonna start getting dark here pretty quickly. 
and I do not want to make my way back in the dark. So, dang it, I thought that was a fish. So I'm gonna fish here for a little bit longer, then start heading back. I think I've lost about 10 lures today. I'm just getting constantly snagged. Oh, fish on. Is this a fish? What is this? I've got something, you guys. I'm not sure what it is yet. Holy cow. Please, please stay on. Oh, he's barely foul hooked. He's barely foul hooked. Yes, another crappie. See you later. It has been a while since I caught that first fish. I ended up tying on this uh, little tube, pumpkin seed color, and caught a crappie my very first cast. I'm gonna start making my way out of here. It's most definitely gonna be dark by the time I get back to my Jeep. So I stayed pretty much as long as I could. I'm glad I was able to catch at least one other fish. Well guys, today was definitely not my best day of fishing, but it also was not my worst. I thought it was a pretty cool adventure. I love coming out to these remote ponds. Even though the fishing was not great, I still had fun. And I caught that pretty big crappie. I'm not too sure if that was my personal best or not, but it was definitely one of the biggest I've caught, so that was really cool. And overall, I thought it was a pretty good day. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. Okay guys, so I moved to another spot. I've never actually fished. Okay, so I guess this is where all the mosquitoes are. I'm getting warm, holy cow. I am out of here. Let's see if I can't catch a fish in 10 minutes. My first cast is a snag. Holy guacamole. Okay, that's not good.